Man, ever I say, my pen dream TV. Pen dream TV, dear. I see them. You po. Prof, I want to talk about your Galamsea report, uh, which recently the AG responded to officially. Um, they have called it mere conjectures, unfounded lacking evidence for which reason their recommendation to uh, the investigative body is for them to to not prosecute the people that you accuse of interfering or actively involved in in galamse um what do you say to that i'm not surprised at all that the ag is saying that because if you had said otherwise i'll be very surprised because when the report was leaked uh the presidency said as we are saying Yes, a personal opinion, that kind of thing. That was in April. In May, the Attorney General said the same thing. And so, what, what are you expecting in September? You think you go back against their own words? No. Uh, so, I'm not surprised at all. But the thing is that the destruction of the uh, forest, pollution of the water bodies, you know, decimation of our farmlands, so all these things are happening now in, uh, let me say, the destruction is on, now on steroids, you know. Mm, so uh, that is a testimony that what I'm saying is true. It may seem so. But what the AG is asking for is evidence against the particular The evidence people. is what you see around, that the rivers Th are that, that, that polluted. That is the end result. But to know that the these end, people you have mentioned the are result, involved. The end result is what you are seeing. If they are saying, I think that I gave enough. But you see, the point is that, is, that was not the essence of my report. I wrote a report. No, the, the thing was that I was, the thought that I did it from my own, uh, on my own accord, I received a letter from the chief of staff saying that the president wants you to write a report about the fight against Gilam Sebe and suggest a way forward. That was the instruction that I got. Based on that, I wrote a report. Mm. What our problems were, those who were interfering with our work, right. and then suggesting a way forward. And that way forward was that the, some people close to government and in the party are involved. So if you want to stop it, then stop it from you know, around you. And, then there's, and, and, the, and then that's why you named those people. That's why I named it. My family. question is, what exactly are the roles those people have played for which you named them? Is there evidence? It's, it's all written in the report. Okay. Did you provide this evidence to... I did. Because the AG is saying that you have failed to cooperate with their investigation. It's not true. I cooperated with the CID fully. At some point, they, I didn't hear from them, you know. They didn't ask me for any information. Well, they say that you have refused to give them evidence. Did you give them any evidence beyond the report? Of course, I did. Okay. What was the nature of the evidence that you gave them? Do you want to say it now? Yes. I gave documentary evidence, uh, pictures, video, and several reports. And was most, a lot of them on pen drive and so on. So then the AG's point that you give the media publications is correct, instead of hard evidence. What, do, what, what does it mean by hard evidence? I mean, what, I said, somebody who has written a report, what evidence do you expect from me, apart from words, documents, videos, and things, pictures? I'm not an investigating agent. I'm, that's what my, my job. I was a chairman of a committee, and I wrote a report. So you have to go around and see whether what I'm saying is not true. I mean, look, the Galamse, oh, so, so listen, listen, listen to me. The Galamse, the Galamse is, is worse now than before. We have regional ministers, we have DCs, MPs, police people, uh, customs and uh, forestry commission people scattered all over Ghana. I did not see these things. If you go there, you get the evidence. Well, those things are there. Mm -hmm. Prof, what I'm asking is, and please, please stick with me here. What I'm asking is, when you mention names like Kojo Ponkroma, what role did he play? When you mentioned names I like... Mean, I, mean, I didn't say Kujo Ponkroma was engaged in Kalam Sale. He played, he did something, and I wrote about it. What did he do? No, I don't want to go into those things. So in the report. So if the AGE decides not to see anything, or doesn't see anything, I cannot say anything. Mm. It's up to him. That's how he interprets information. 
is there an, is this another indication that really the country has lost the fight against Galamsi as far as you're concerned? For now, but I don't know what will happen in the future. Maybe a future, the next government or so may have another strategy to solve the problem of Galamsi. I hope so. But we also hear that you have compiled some evidence and, and uh, given to Shraj on Galamsi. Is that the case? That is the case. Uh, somebody has, somebody, I think an MP, MP for Saudi, reported to Shrag that Shrag should, should go into that report and investigate. So I was called to Shrag as a witness. And I had an initial um, chat with them. And they followed up with a list of things that they wanted to have, which I've given to them. Mm. Yes. Is, is this the same with the AG and the police? Well, they ask for more information, details and other things which the police didn't ask. Okay. See, I'm not a, I'm not a CID person. I'm not a, a, an investigator. I give you what you ask for. Now, if you don't ask me things, uh, it may not be okay to me. But these young people, I think, were very professional. They, mm -hmm. they were very specific. They wrote the things down. So right. I went to the checklist. And, and provided then, them the yes. evidence. So comparatively, you think the CID and by extension the AG did a poor job on this? It's not for me to judge, but I mean... What do not, you think? What do I think? If they say that what I've written is CSA, conjecture, personal opinion, and so on, then certainly they did a poor job. I see. I want us to talk about uh, the future president in a bit, uh, but... We'll start off from the bottom of that letter, yes. where you say that, to make matters worse, the NPP establishment mm -hmm. is busy promoting a presidential candidate who, to your mind, mm -hmm. is the most vulnerable and has more baggage than all the aspirants. Are you referring to the vice president? Yes. Why so? Why do you think it's a poor choice for your party? I'm not saying it's a poor choice. I mean, if we're strong, then we leave him. And, com and to compete on a level playing field. But then if party... The NPP is boiling, and this is the simple fact. Aside from the acrimony and wrangling in the party, many leading members believe they are being directed by spineless leaders who have lost moral control of the party. To others, the current reality of the party is a long-awaited reckoning due to what critics say is grossed over and discipline lawlessness and plain factions that have deepened the cracks of the NPP. The party wants to break the eight, but already leading members like Alan Chairman Ting have either resigned in reality or as Boachie Jacob puts it, in their hearts. Does the current form of the NPP reflect its old self or its self-destruction in the process? so far so good. Se open online portal e Ghana. Ah, ni pa share, ni pa follow, ni pa comment here. To my best of knowledge, without any biases, I append to you.